Authority and parents have already been shelling out big bucks on supplies. Tonight, we are sharing some expert tips on buying perhaps the most expensive item on your shopping list, a new laptop. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne and tells us what you need to know. The Capo Bianco still have a lot of work to do before Noah's first class at CCSU. But one issue the family tackled early on was figuring out the perfect computer, which can be an overwhelming process. Everything's updating frequently. The changes are dramatically. Every year it is bigger, better, faster. If you don't know what you're doing, it's going to cost you a lot. And a lot of the time, it's going to be a, a big price if you're not looking for the right places. Here are the specs. Of this particular system and again Eric Semmel has helped countless families pick the ideal computer which he says for most students these days is a laptop due to its portability the VP of client success at tab computer systems in East Hartford tells parents it's an important investment you know you probably bought the kid the best baseball bat or the best tennis racket or what have you this is a tool they're going to use to for, for productivity uh, in their futures Eric advises families to prioritize speed and power by buying the latest processor you can. So it gives longevity to the computer. So when the, when the student has it for the next six, eight years, now you're good. Uh, if you went with something older, it won't last as long. Also, pick a laptop that features at least 16 gigs of RAM and a hard drive with a minimum of 500 gigs. That way, your child's computer will have enough memory and storage. And it might sound simple, but go with a metal case. Don't go with the plastic. These hinges don't last if they're plastic, um, and they're going to take a beating um, as they're mobile and portable. Eric also says that unless you're buying for an elementary school student, purchase a new laptop. Yes, you'll spend more in the short term, but a used computer will cost you in the long run when you have to replace it sooner. They're already uh, past their prime. They're already old generation systems. They're not going to give you much use. Used systems typically only have a 90-day warranty. Eric warns you'll probably need to shell out at least 800 bucks to hit all of his benchmarks. But a new laptop should perform at a high level for at least five years. It's something that's going to be reliable, late generation, nice and, nice and powerful for them so that they can actually do all sorts of things on it rather than asking you later for another computer. Back on CCSU's campus in New Britain, Noah will be using a laptop that hits Eric's parameters, although the cybersecurity major saved a little money because he actually helped build it himself. I think the most important thing is getting stuff that is going to be affordable but worth and stuff that's going to last for the future that you don't have to upgrade so soon. You don't want to get something that's just going to be a baseline that in a couple of years is going to be out the door. His mom, Tracy, and dad, David, helped pay for the laptop, but they agree with Eric that the right computer is money well spent. There's the expenses with it, but it's an investment in his future. Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And before school starts, we are asking Connecticut teachers to send us your wish lists. We know often many of you spend your own money on supplies. We want to help. You can send us a wish list through the WFSB app or WFSB.com, and we will post those lists starting next week so our viewers can help you.